Welcome to Wiggle Sticks TV. So today I thought I'd do a, a little bit of an unboxing for the next part of the project. Um, be pretty obvious to see once we uh, open up the box and see what's inside here. Um, So we're going to be running uh, Brembo calipers uh, up at the front. Um, so these will require um, a different uh, mount on here because these are a different width than is on the on the K1 front end. Um, so. We have got a kit um, from Active of uh, Weebike in Japan. Um, so let me just move this over here a touch. Move this up. So then you've got your caliper, and then the kit uh, comes with two two mounting points. So these are threaded that go into the back of the into the mount into the forks, and then these ones mount into the caliper. Um, so essentially, they just mount in there like so, and then it pulls the pulls it back down onto the back of the caliper. So um, yeah, it should be a pretty cool addition and uh, yeah, fun times. So the kit comes with the bolts and spaces and stuff you need um, to mount it all together. Uh, I remember which one this was off. Uh, so essentially, the uh, so they're actually you can actually see the molding and stuff here fits into the molding on the caliper. So. I'm not putting the spaces in or anything, so I'm not fitting them at the moment, but... Um... And then essentially they mount, mount onto the caliper, straight like that, so... Pretty nice little setup. These mounting plates are super, uh, super strong, CNC'd. Uh, really well made, so they'll be quite strong. Solid aluminium. Really nice piece of kit. So we've got the uh, front brake lever and master cylinder with one braided line. Um, I was out at Mick Hone today talking about getting some braided lines run. I was potentially going to swap this for a Brembo master cylinder to match match the calipers, um, but Mick suggested probably just try to see how this one first because it's not much that much different other than the branding uh, between this one and the Brembo. So um, yeah, I'm just going to pull the braided line off um, and pull the little uh, reservoir and earth brake fluid reservoir off, and then. Um, clean it up a bit and uh, then I'll take it over to Mick with the brakes um, and probably the rest of the front end just so we can make everything um, make everything fit
So as you can see, this is pretty well rusted on there. going to disassemble this uh, brake cylinder, or take the lever off it, so you can keep cleaning. Screwdriver is a little bit of overkill, but I uh, couldn't find my other one. Nice set of cobwebs in there. See the rubber's all perished. Sounds pretty terrible. So back in uh, back in the garage again. Uh, today we're going to remove the piston. So we pull this little dust seal out. It's perished anyway. I just need to remove the little circuit. That's So after a bit of digging around with a little screwdriver, we managed to get the dust seal out, or the, the bottom part of the that rubber dust seal. And then now, just need to take out the circlip. Um, down the bottom there. So I might just hit that. Looks like it's a little bit rusted, so. Just like that. Penetrate in there a little bit, and then uh, have to wrestle out the C clip. Um, anyway, that's out. So let's pull out the rest of it now. Oh, it's not very pleasant at all. Look at all this gunk. I guess that's what happens when it's been sitting for 25 years or something. Side of it. Some rubber seal. Comes off too. I didn't film myself doing this, but um, I just cleaned out the inside of the brake fluid reservoir because um, it had all brake fluid and stuff. It's pretty gunky on the inside, just a bit of CLR. Um, yeah, cleaned up all the different components, and uh, the rebuild kit came the other day, so from Mikhone. So I will start to put all this back together uh, once this all dries up. So I'm just about to start reassembling the master cylinder. We've got the new parts from the other day um, that we saw, C-clips, dust seals, rubber caps. Um, put this back together, it was missing the clip um, and the screw. Got a brand new hose on there, I'm using, reusing the old clips. Um, and then, so now I'll just put these 
these parts all back together, put the kit in it, and uh, then we'll be good to mount it uh, onto the clip-on. Um, I've just got one of the little brackets that hold the brake reservoir. Just painted that black because it was looking a little bit tatty. So uh, yeah, start putting this back together. Uh, so we've got the top piece in now. It was a real pain uh, to actually get enough pressure in there for the C-clip to release, but um, now that this piece is in, uh, I'm just going to put the dust seal on um, and then put the master cylinder rebuild kit in there and it's uh, all good to go back together pretty much. Um, yeah, so it's painful though that, just to try to get it to seat in there enough. Anyway, we're getting there, so step by step. So we've got the um, master cylinder rebuild kit uh, all laid out. Um, this is the order that it goes back in to the master cylinder. Um, using the workshop manual over here, just to make sure everything's back in the right order. Um, so essentially we will put all the parts in uh, brake fluid first just to coat everything in it. We'll put brake fluid inside the master cylinder um, and then we will slide it all back together and put the C-clip in. Um, hopefully, and then once all that's in we'll put the lever back together and attach the reservoir and the switch and everything back on. So um, should be a pretty straightforward process I think. Um, there's what the other one looked like. Disgusting mess. And then now we have the new Master cylinder piston and everything, so uh, yeah, we'll get cracking. So we got the piston and everything back in there now. Um, feels much better than the original one, which is over here looking decidedly terrible. Uh, so yeah, now we'll just uh, put the lever back on and the reservoir back on and the brake switch. Even though I'm not going to use it, I think. I'll put it back on just in case I decide to use it down the track. So uh, yeah, I'll just reassemble it. So we're all done with the rebuild. Uh, mounted everything back on to the handlebar here, just to all keep it in one piece. Um, we probably won't worry about putting it back onto the bike at this point, but um, only because there's no real point because the brakes aren't connected at the moment. But uh, much nicer action in there. Uh, yeah, so. I think it was a successful little job, definitely better than the disaster that was on the first one. Um, so yeah, it's cleaned up pretty nicely. Um, we'll end up putting the calipers on in a second. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, this little project's pretty much done. So, um, yeah. <laughs> So after the uh, last night's effort of trying to fit this wheel and these calipers, uh, we actually realized our mistake, which was that the forks were in the wrong legs, which obviously will make things not fit correctly and uh, cause a lot of headache more generally. So now we have the forks in the correct legs and everything mounts up super well. Um, we have a 300 mil disc on here versus a 320, which it should be. Um, so we'll change that at some point, but everything else fits pretty well. Um, the brakes are in with no spaces or anything, but just sitting there. Um, so they spin around. So I think, um, yeah, with a little bit of proper fiddling and, um, rather than me just, uh, finger tightening the screws and all that kind of stuff, um, it's going to fit quite, going to work out quite well. So I'm super happy to get these Brembo's and everything in there. Um, I think it's going to work really nicely. So now it's really just a case of, um, yeah, continuing the work on the rest of the bike. And it's great knowing that this wheel and uh, everything actually fits. And uh, yeah, I think it's uh, definitely getting closer. So I will move, take the wheel out now and scoot everything back on the table so it's a bit more stable at the moment it's pretty precariously positioned there but um at least we got to fit the front wheel see that the brakes and everything work and uh now we can just continue plowing along with the rest of the build so 
thanks everyone for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next episode which uh, would be bump stops and maybe a couple of other things um, who knows what that would be so yeah thanks again and I'll see you in the next episode see you later